Welcome to Jungsenpo. Today we're visiting the whale museum village or cultural village. Hello. Go check yourselves. And since it's under construction, the entrance is free for the time being. First thing you need to do is check yourself. Mali, give us a tour. Give us a tour. There's the what? Oh, a whale book? Whale bread. Okay. Oh, uh -huh, a whale bread. Okay. <laughs> you don't need your jackets? You do it on the street here, Mali. The village has displays of things that kids used to do back in the day and how people used to live in South Korea. <laughs> this is a a game. Huh? What did you step on that? Oh. Mali, narration. Explain what we're seeing here. Why are they killing the whale? Because back then it was legal. And now it's highly frowned upon because whales are... Yes. Whales are under extinction. Here, if we go out, a whale is going whale is hurting. This guy is making uh, the whale more hurting. What is for pulling the whale? Like take out. What this machine? These machines? Mm. They were used to take out the whales out of the ocean. There's an old school over there. So we should go visit it then. Mm. Let's go. Hmm. Big chunks of this place are under construction, so that's why the entrance is free. Free. Ring the bell, somebody. Oh, they say no. Oh, okay. I guess we can't ring the bell. But well, we can go inside the school. <laughs> Places like these are built all across Korea in various areas. There's uh, something like that in Gyeongju as well, where people can come in and see what Korea used to look like years ago. Although I'm not sure that exactly these classrooms were like looked like this. <laughs> Maybe. Baseball players, kids from schools, old rock stars, some vinyls laid out neatly for people to see. Molly, what's all this? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Who may have these fellas been? Maybe some famous band back in the days. Bunch of dudes jumping in front of the Namsan Tower in Seoul. Mm. Look at that, an old classroom with desks. One little kid taking punishment. <laughs> Is that the teacher? Why? She's missing a finger. Oh no, she hit a, a love stick. Teachers used to carry what they called love sticks, which was a stick that they would whack students with to punish them. 
This board looks like it's seen better days. <laughs> they used to serve lunches in boxes like this. Okay. Molly, where is your lunch? Where is our ticket? Out in the courtyard, children would play games of all sorts. What games do you guys play at school now? I don't know. Sumura. The whole area of Jangsenpo has a monorail running across it. You can take it up on the other side of the road and that takes you around. There's a little hiking path. I think the monorail goes all the way up there. Oh, there's an old well here. Is there water inside? Oh, there's some water inside here. We won't pull out the water. <laughs> there we go. You have to put in here. <laughs> yeah, pictures of real whales hunted. <laughs> Not so long ago, actually, there was still a whale harvesting factory located here in Jiangsu. In 2005 and 2006, actually, there was still hunting for whales. That's when I came here. Greenpeace had set up headquarters here in Jiangsu to protect, to close the, or to prevent the building of a factory, of a whale hunting factory, in 2006, I think. And I remember driving down with a bunch of friends to greet the Greenpeace members here and hang out with them for a little bit. They were camped out here at Jiangsu for a good few months, maybe three, four months. I don't know if they actually finished building the, uh, the whale harvesting plant or not, but Jiangsu definitely has a history of doing so. They're nice for cutting whales. There's another, another bit of harpooning history. Look at that giant harpoon. This is what they use for hunting whales. They would shoot this out, the big thing would go inside of the whale, and then they would pull it in onto the boat. So like the master whale. And I guess maybe these were the men responsible for harvesting a lot of the whales out here. So apparently the famous Indiana Jones movie is based on this fella here who was an archaeologist and he heard uh, of a ghost whale that was located here that was swimming around I guess Jan Jansen Poyernosan, South Korea and he came to check it out. Roy Chapman Andrews, the original Indiana Jones. So they say. Indiana Jones is on TV. <laughs> here are all the new additions that are being built, which is why the entrance here is free for the time being. Other than that, the village itself is quite small. I guess once the buildings are done, you know, there's going to be a lot more to see. We're a little bit hungry, so we're gonna go have some old-fashioned street food here. There's a little shop just outside the school here somewhere, I guess. So we're gonna go and get some little food snacks, noodles and uh, fish cake, I think. Is that right, Mali? What do you call fish cake? Hey, look at the camera. 
narration. Come on. Hey. You're the star of today's video. <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay, well, let's go eat. What else have they got here? Mm -hmm. We got pudding, naengmyeon, and was it popping soup? Oh, okay. Oh my. Ramen is so. Ramen, yeah. Ramen is so. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Who's having ramen? Me. Ungyul. Momogole. 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 Ramen, 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 Mali, huh? <laughs> it may be a an old type shop, but they still accept credit cards. Even in this old forlorn town village, there is coffee. Oh, this is where the bread is. Huh? Motherland. What? Motherland. What? Motherland. Motherland? What are you saying? Our bread. This is the motherland. Mm -hmm. What is in whale? Americano chicken day, oh? Yes. What is it? Americano. Ah. Unless you want some Americano? No. Okay. What do you want? Breads? Uh. Which breads? This. Just one? Which one? Mm. Well, that's it for this tiny little village. It's very small. Uh, you can see it within half hour, probably. You can do a lot more. We ate a little bit, so that took a bit more time. And right now the kids are in the store looking at souvenirs and stuff and trying to get me to buy stuff while I'm sitting here and I'm gonna have one of those whale breads. That's apparently the thing. Pretty good. Goes very well with the coffee. I think we're gonna go across the street. There is a kids something rather. Since this was a free entrance and we spent a bunch of money here, we're gonna go across and see what's what's there to do for the kids. I want that Nemo thing. Don't be silly. Oh. We're in the belly of a giant whale. Massive beast. We've reached the pinnacle of our excursion. Oh, there's a monorail coming. Let's go to the kids' world. From up here, we afforded a very good view of all the industry that's surrounded here. There's the petrochemical district over there. Uh, over there on the horizon, there's uh, some oil tankers and uh, oil storage facilities oil processing facilities and just behind there a bunch of cranes uh, at the HHI Hyundai Heavy Industry shipbuilding yards this cultural village was built to commemorate the massacre that took place over the decades of, of whale slaughtering and now we're heading down to another part of Jiangsunpo a bit less gruesome in in terms of memory and a bit more child friendly I think. There's a monorail here as well, there's the whale museum right across the street. Cetacean Research Institute located over there. Is this the same monorail that goes over there? No. Is it? Oh it is? Oh very cool. So this is the same rail that goes past the village and then right there is a car and it swivels around through this whole neighborhood there. Zoom! All along the strip here you can see still see whale restaurants. So it's not like it's a dead trade. Uh, Jiang Sinpo is well known for whale restaurants. So if you're ever in Osan and you want to try some whale meat, this is the place to come. It's not technically not illegal, but it's highly frowned upon, I guess. Here's another one. Gore Gogi John Munji. Now we came to Kids Land. I have no idea what this is. Is it fun? 
you guys have fun? Yeah. All right. Maybe next time when we come, there won't be any constructions. We'll have to pay for the entrance, but we'll get to do a lot more stuff and spend more money. In any case, if you're interested in that, come down to uh, Junction Po, check out the village. There's other stuff to do. There's the kids' uh, land, whatever, and the whale museum. And uh, it's overall a pretty nice area to hang out, spend the time, and enjoy. So remember, if you're like us living in Korea or simply enjoy watching videos about South Korea, its people, culture, and food, then hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, come back for more. Come back for more. There's a little gallery here displaying stuff. Look at this tiny cute little gallery in the middle of nowhere. The lady gave me a mask but it's got a old moth ball kind of ammonia smell to it. I don't know which worse corona or this smell. Anyway look at this gym here in the middle of nowhere. incognito things you find when you stumble upon things in random places. To go to a gallery, you know, you can't do it. You know, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. 인테리어 작업을 하셔가지고 이렇게 리모델링을 하셨어요. 음. 그래서 인, 그 지금 입문 활동하시는 선생님들께서 여기서 이제 행사도 하시고 음. 입문 네 그렇게 하는데 저는 지금 공간을 빌려가지고 이번에 전시를 열게 되었거든요. 네. 예뻐요. 아 그런가요? <웃음> 어떻게 알고 좋아요. 오셨어요? 그냥 지나가다가 네. 아니 아기랑 여기 왔어요. 아, 오늘 예, yeah. 아. what is it? 놀랐어요? 놀랐어요. 아, 그랬군요. 지금 집에 가요. 아. 이거 봤어요. 아. 가고 싶어요. 아. <웃음> 감사합니다. 네. 혹시 여기 코로나 이거 방문으로 잡아야 되나요? 네. One for the road, got it right down. What is it? So we get a bit of a. Oh, so I guess the gallery is pretty new. Um, and the lady just explained how it came about. They fixed it up, and now it's here. And she's just wrapping up some advertising, some flyers, and stuff. A little picture of little fish, goldfish. It would be nice to speak a little bit more Korean so I could ask her about the art and how it's made and what the play is because it seems like a bit of a play on shadows and whatnot. So, it's cool. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, off we go with our little mini 